Hey guys, welcome back to The Interceptor, and we are here today for an insane video. Of course, as you know, Incursion started today, the beta. And uh, if you don't know, I recently made... Look at this. I recently made a video where I went over the announcements for the new beta. Sorry, this one. Uh, I made that four days ago. That's when they announced it. I dropped this like an hour and a half after the announcement came out or something like that. And uh, one of the changes <laughs> is that for this beta, they would have a 45 unit cost for refreshes per champion for every single champion. After you use them three times, it's either wait six hours or use 45 units. And I said, that is an absolutely insane amount of units for a beta. I said that when this mode goes live, the cost has to be at the absolute highest 10 units per champion. And it realistically should, it shouldn't cost units. Like, okay, maybe it should cost like five units. I think five is where it genuinely should be, but anywhere under 10 is what the caban or is what the MCOC community is going to deem reasonable. Ten is reasonable. Forty-five is not reasonable for the live game, so it's definitely not reasonable for the beta. <laughs> Something with shit rewards compared to what it's gonna be when it comes the whole thing comes out. So today, when the beta dropped. We were surprised that the unit cost for refresh was not there, and it was instead one gold like it had been in the previous things. Now, I don't actually have a recording of it, but luckily a buddy of mine, Enzo, was streaming earlier today, and I just caught this clip of him, um, of, of him using gold to refresh, and then I'm going to insert a clip at the end of this, which is myself. Less than an hour later, literally less than an hour later and i uh and, and i have units option now so i'm gonna play this clip everyone's saying these cost units to... no 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 i don't want to remember i just want to recharge them right, one look at that one goal one goal when was this Recharging. two hours ago okay so maybe it was like three or four hours ago um this was two hours ago <laughs> Two hours ago, the cost of it was one gold per champion. So we thought Kabam decided to actually do something right for once. They they uh, they stopped being the absolute morons that they were when they came up with the number of 45 units for a beta. And they did this. They made it one gold. And we were like, yeah, that's awesome. Kabam didn't make an announcement. They didn't make anything. This is just a subtle change. Like, you don't have to announce this. This is just a, a change that you make because the entire community was enraged about the 45 unit cost. It was insane. It still is insane. It is an insanely horrible cost. And, and we were happy that they changed it back. We were like, yeah, that's awesome. I can actually play this beta now. Psych, actually you can't. Now, I, I can't actually record both of these at the same time, so I'm just going to wait for it to render, and then I'm going to start the second recording. Uh, but I'm just going to cut over in a few seconds, and you guys will see what it is like right now. All right, so that that took, like, way shorter time to render. I thought it would take, like, two or three minutes. That literally took five seconds to render after I finished stop recording. So this is genuinely 15 seconds later uh, after that. Uh, but... I just went to the live server. Um, now, after I saw that they made this change, uh, I had not played any matches before this change when it was one gold. Um, I just went in and I played three matches. I won them all two nothing. Uh, this first guy, I actually did beat him in the second round. Um, I I just like absolutely shredded his champion. I was using Torch versus a Mystic, and I won the fight in like literally 22 seconds, and I had like 
58,000 points or something like that. It was something crazy. Or like 57k. And he had a matchup he wasn't going to win. So I did win 2-0. Um, but yeah, I just played three quick ones right there. You'll notice I ended uh, the last beta on a little bit of a losing streak to all those cheaters. Including this guy, Kasa. He, he cheated in all five rounds. Um, and uh, so yeah, so what I did is I intentionally chose... Uh, one champion in all three games for all my matches and I was just kind of jotting down who I was using so when I if I had the chance I would always pick them so the champion I used was thing my five star thing here you'll notice I actually used torch twice I also used uh nim mid twice but uh if you'll see that refresh cost it's 45 units which is insane somehow kabam thought that uh, or maybe this was a mistake. It shouldn't have been a mistake. Uh, Kabam was like, nah, this is a mistake. We're not going to let them have it. So they changed it on the live server from one gold to 45 units. And I'm betting there is a forum post being written up right now or that's already written and I just haven't seen it yet saying, we're, we apologize for the mistake. It wasn't supposed to be one gold at launch. It was supposed to be 45 units. I understand how this is uh, how this is unfortunate since you saw it as one gold. Basically, like, the, the little whiner stuff that Kabam always says. Now, we don't... We're not going to pay for this. This is, this is garbage. We thought Kabam had for once... For once! You know what? Not for once. For like the second time ever. We'll give some credit to Kabam. Once in a blue moon. They do a good thing. Okay. This this is not that. They did a good thing. And I was like damn Kabam. This is exactly what the community needed. And you did it. Good job for you. And I had that opinion for a few hours. A few hours. And then Kabam was like ha ha. Fuck you. Never mind. We hate the community. Screw all of you. Oh yeah, you you know that stuff that we announced and everyone hated and said we needed to change? We're going to tease you with what you wanted and then be like, nah, we'll give you what you hated. Which is just, that's kabam for you. There's no other way to say it, but that's, that's kabam. That is kabam's attitude towards everything in this game. They are driving their community away with high hopes... And they don't perform. They don't give you any of the stuff you want. Remember when I was talking... Uh, ab remember how when uh, Summer Pain number 2, Eternity of Pain, when it, remember when that was announced? I said the one thing Kabam can't do is make it a very long event. They made it an even longer event than last time. Now, it is going to be the same thing that's repeating with different champions as the bosses multiple times throughout the year. So the individual one is going to be shorter. It's going to be half the length. Six weeks instead of 11, so not really half, but close. Or maybe it's four, and then four bosses, and then the week five is the one with all four. Yes. Okay, that's it. So it's... It's every five weeks instead of 11, which I guess is actually okay. Um, but they made it even longer because it repeats like four or five times throughout the year. So, th like, literally the only thing that Kabam could do to mess up Eternity of Pain is the one thing they did. Why? Did, why? If, if it's a month long, okay, it's five weeks. It's not a month, but it's close to a month. It's like five days away from a month. If let, let, Just give us a month. Put out all five. Put out all four. And you uh, make the rules that you have to complete each of the first four weeks before you can get into the fifth. But make it all available. Let us do it all on day one if we want. And that's what they messed up. What they did is now you only get one fight per week for the first four weeks, and then you get them all at the end. Now, I'm kind of just talking about something else right now. My main focus for this video is supposed to be on what they did to the 1v1 competitive mode um, refresh costs, but I kind of just got sidetracked a little bit there and talked about how badly they messed up Eternity of Pain as well. But, yeah, Kabam just... 
they're not providing. Kabam doesn't provide what the community wants. They mess up every single game mode. And then when we finally get okay with it, we get used to being disappointed and we finally get one good thing. It was all a mistake. Everything that we ever wanted, they gave it to us and then they took it away because it was a mistake apparently. How, okay. I'm genuinely trying to understand the thought process of Kabam employees at the HQ realizing their mistake. They'll, so, so that they would either see it somewhere on like social media or they would be playing themselves and they saw it or an employee not working sent it into them and say, hey guys, uh, isn't this supposed to be 45 units? So they see that it's one gold and their reaction is, oh, we accidentally made it? Everything that the Kabam community, uh, that the MC community, MCOC community ever wanted? We accidentally performed that? Nah, no, nah, we can't have that. We can't have the community happy. You guys remember that post we made a while ago? The post that everyone hated because the the cost that we set was insanely high? Yeah, let's use that. Let's, in fact, let's not even say anything. Let's just change it. Let's just change it for fun. That, that's, that's, that's Kabam. That is my, that is genuinely what I think happens at Kabam. And I'm not joking. Like, this is crazy. And no one talks about this. Kabam consistently does this over and over again. And the reason they get away with it is because the guys with the biggest channels are in the CCP and won't say anything about Kabam. That's why they get away with it. Because someone like me with a small channel with only 1.2k subscribers, in fact, I don't even think I'm there, I think I'm like 5 off. I'm the one that has to make all these videos. And even someone like KT1, who is a much, much bigger YouTuber than I am, is nowhere near the size of the other guys. And, <laughs> and he makes these videos, but it's not enough. So, uh, it's ridiculous. Because the people in the CCP, I don't think they are, like, contractually obligated to not say anything. But they don't. Ever. And the way that we fix Kabam doing stuff like this consistently is to have those big creators be the ones agreeing. Be the ones making these videos so that we don't have to. It's so dumb. This is something that has always happened in the game, and it's something that will always continue to happen. Until we, we get those people to say, this is enough. I'm on the side of Kabam usually, and even I know that this is bad. So yeah. That's really all I have to say about it right now. Um, I'm still pretty annoyed about this. But that's going to be all for this video. That's going to be a fun one to edit. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.